What's going on guys? Blake Alvarez here again with B&B Lawn Care. We're here with Kyle from Atlas. What's up? Guys, we're at his new house, by the way. It's pretty sweet. Um, Good job on the house, man. I we'll really get there. Like it. It's not I really quite like done, it. but we'll get there. All right, we'll so there. we're going to show you guys the driveway too because it's uh, pretty sweet. All right, so we're installing... Just you take over, Kyle. You take over, buddy. So today we are installing a Belgard element. Part of the element too. So they have fireplaces, outdoor kitchens, um, wood boxes and the reason why they call them elements is because they come in different pieces so you'll see over here we got the fireplace over there we got some wood boxes uh, later on this spring we'll bring in uh, some uh, grill islands so one of the nice things about these is is what you see is what you get so what you see in the catalog so when you're talking to a client or a potential client or you're talking with the landscape designer everybody already knows what it is so they can see exactly what the piece is in the catalog versus something that's handmade. Handmade is, is very cool, it's very time consuming, it's very expensive. These can sometimes be a little bit more economical and it's what you see is what you get. On the customer and the... Right, yeah. right, right. And you gotta have a certain talent to be able to, to build one it's of these very, by hand. It's very expensive and very, you do, you have to have a lot of talent and most contractors are not gonna spend the time to make it look as good as somebody can make it look that's built in a factory and they drop it off here on site. So one of the first key things you want to do is, is you want to make sure that you get the base work. It's all in anything paper wise, it's all about that base. So you always want to make sure that your base is set. So not for your paper patio, likewise for your element. These are very heavy. This one weighs about 4,000 pounds with the top on there. And then the boxes are about 1,000, 1,200 pounds a piece. So you've got quite a bit of weight. You don't want that moving in time. So the base is key. This just kind of illustrates how you do that. We uh, drilled some piers, put uh, some piers in the bottom of this pad and then made a pad. And then we're gonna set our fireplace on top of that today. And then later on, we'll put pavers up. This is my question for you, cause I'm gonna go, this is for dummies, dude. Okay. Cause I have no clue. I'm learning this. So for this concrete right uh -huh. here, yep. you drilled holes with an auger. Right. Yep. The this 36 is what it inches like. or whatever it yep. was. This is what it looks like. So there, it just kind of gives you uh, architect specs. And then you put the rebar and you did that and then uh, had a, a concrete yep. poured. Yep. And that's where we are right now in yep. the tutorial. Right. All right. Yep. Exactly. All right. So basically now, how long does it take to dry? Uh, concrete cures in about, it just depends on your area. How long do you normally wait? I usually wait three days. So you normally wait three days. Yeah. So that's in where we summer, are in here, the summer, in, the, in the, summer. the summer. So if it's winter time, you want to wait a lot longer. You may want to wait 10, 12 days okay. for that concrete to cure, so to speak. Okay, so now that's where we are now in this process. So right. he's basically finding the middle. Is that an easy way to explain? You're right. taping it out and right. finding so the middle it out so I know exactly center where this brick needs to be on there. And then the same thing, we're going to do the same thing up here on the, on the, on the chimney side of it. So we're going to get the measurements of the chimney and then we're gonna tape it out on each corner where it needs to be so then that way when I'm in the loader, I can see exactly where it needs to set. A lot of people are gonna to like to see this. What is this? Uh, this is our new uh, addition for 2018. It's a Caterpillar 239D. It's one of the smaller uh, compact tracked loaders from, from Cats. It, it uh, is right in our wheelhouse though as far as, it, it is for most landscapers, most small, landscapers that uh, are needing to move a pallet of pavers to dig a patio to do light grading um, to set one of the smaller elements this is this is the ticket this is the key the is, is to lay out all of your known markings with tape before so you don't have to come back and remeasure so I know that this corner needs to be right there to be completely even across that old adage measure twice cut once in the landscape world, it's probably measure four or five times and cut two times. I mean, we gotta stick around so you gotta see the fire in here. Mm -hmm. We gotta put a fire in this sucker now. <laughs> we gotta have a fire now. So basically right now you're finding the, the middle again. Yep, finding the middle. That's really what it's about, because you probably, like most of us, if you're renting a machine, 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're renting a machine, let's say you don't have a skid steer or whatever you have to use, yeah, let's say you don't have the luxury to you afford. can't, you can't just come and move this anytime no. you want. So you have to no. make sure it's correct because if your client comes the next day or whenever and you don't have that machine anymore, it's, it's off by like two inches because your your homeowner or you're gonna see this. They're gonna see it every time. They're gonna be out here for hours on end enjoying their beautiful new fireplace. And it's a, if it's off, even a half an inch, you're gonna notice that over time. You're gonna notice these little nuances. So you have to make sure it's exactly right before you leave. Because we never, I'll see this one, but most cases we'll never see that fireplace ever again. But the homeowner will see it every single day. So they'll notice if it's a half inch off here or mm -hmm. a half inch off there, they will notice if it's at a level. So you have to do it correct the first time. Right. Or you're gonna be busting into your profits because you have to go out and rent another machine or have another crew out there fixing that. This is math they never taught you in school. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> they never taught you this, how to pay taxes, how to pay for a house. They never taught you, they barely taught you how to fill out a check. And that was in like sixth grade. Anymore. I, you, you have Apple Pay. You know, yeah, yeah. You it's like here, it. touch touch your phone, and that's yeah, how you, you pay. Yeah, you need your finger or your face. Yep. <sighs> Kyle, this literally smells like a new car. Just like just like a new BMW 5 Series, exactly the same. <laughs> same price, same smell, but that's that's about it. And take a little break here in the new skid steer because really smells good. And it's really quite comfortable. Okay, so this is the last part. So where we had those forks on the on the loader, the Belgard gives you these pieces, and you can glue them. You can leave them. Has some contractors do it differently if you ever need access in here, but they literally just set in place just like that. And then it looks like we were never even here. Okay, so if we look at what this costs versus doing a kit. So instead of buying this, you could also buy a kit and piece it together. So you may look at somewhere between two and $4,000 for one of the kits to put it together, but you have to also think about the labor. So the time it takes, it may take you know a couple of days, it may take a couple of weeks to build your fireplace. Versus using a Belgard element, what we're doing is, is we're ordering it, a supplier is gonna drop it off to us, and then all we're doing is setting the base, maybe take two to three days, and then actually setting the fireplace would take, let me rephrase that, so setting the setting the concrete pad, so it may take an afternoon and then let it dry, so it sits there for three days, and then once we actually install the fireplace, it maybe takes 10, 15 minutes to completely set this. So in the same amount of time, you can have this set. One of these will typically, it just varies in your area, but it can be anywhere from about $4,000 on the low end and seven to $8,000 on the high end. So your opportunity cost is, is much greater with a setup like this than it is from building it brick by brick. Basically, what we showed here is you have to be able to make the base, right. pour the cement, do the rebar, and all the instructions that are listed with the requirements, because you gotta think, these things weigh how much? 
Uh, this one particularly, if we look at the whole thing, probably weighs around seven to eight thousand pounds. So, so three to four tons. You have to have something that's going to hold this for years and years and years and years without having a problem. So, that's just, that's on you, isn't that? Right. I mean, yeah, you have to make sure this is not going to move. You know, that's the last thing you want is one of these things tipping either way. I mean, because you got to think these—they're going to have their family, they're going to have their kids, right. their—I mean, friends, everything. So. That's your responsibility on this, so it's not, this this video and you saying this, even when you talk to me about it, it could seem like, oh, just get a skid steer and just put it here and make some cash. No, but it takes a little bit more. That's what I'm saying, so that shouldn't be what you get from this video, but you really do have to do a good job. You have to kind of know what you're doing and really do your research on, you know, how to lay a base and make sure this thing's not gonna come tipping over, so that's, Right, and one of the nice things about about Belgard is, is you can become an authorized contractor. So we're an authorized contractor. We're also an authorized installer for these element series. So what that means is from a contractor side, we can go and get certified with the manufacturer on how exactly they want it set, exactly how they want it done. And then from the consumer side, the consumer knows, okay, hey, this contractor is completely qualified to put this in our patio. Okay. Perfect. So that's it. That's that's the basics here. If you guys like these types of videos, um, we'll come back to Kyle's because he's going to do a whole patio. What, yep. el what else are you doing here? So uh, this is our showcase. So this is, you know, I own a company, Atlas Landscape. This is going to be our showcase. So this is my personal house. And what we're going to do is take potential clients to my personal house to look at what exactly what we do. So in the front yard, we have a paver driveway. And back here, we're going to do an outdoor kitchen a patio, we've got the fireplace, we're gonna have a fire table, uh, we're gonna have a rock bubbler, a bunch of a bunch of landscape, a bunch of different plants back here, some lighting. This is just all part of the grand plan. All right, perfect, man. That's it, guys. Uh, we'll come back and uh, show you the progress. You've still got a lot to do, but you literally just moved in like... We just moved here about month, a month ago. A month ago, and it's been freezing cold and ice and snow and all that stuff, but we'll come back here to the Atlas Landscape Landscape Showcase, pretty much. That's, That's what it, it is, man. That's it. But there it is, guys. That's his first element out here on his patio. You're gonna, you're basically, all this gravel is gonna be a patio, correct? Yeah, this will all be patio. There'll be a kitchen over here, and then there's gonna be a fire table over there. Perfect. Sweet, man. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. All right, you guys watch Kyle put all that stuff there. Here's where the real skill comes in. You hold that, Kyle. Ten dollars says he can't figure out where the parking brake is. Five bucks says I can't get it out. Oh, ten. Oh, five dollars. Okay.